Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this little six series from Small Victories by Johanna Basford using Polychromos pencils. We're going to go right in close and make a start on this one today. Now this one is a sort of floral leafy pattern um, but we're going to make it look different to the other ones that we have done. I was thinking maybe an orange flower might be a good... Mm, now I'm going to change my mind. A purple flower we're going to do because we've got orange fish over there that I'm going to do tomorrow. Spoiler alert. So let's do some um, um, violet. What should we do? Mauve. I think I'm going to start with the mauve. Let's do that. Let's get started. So polychromos pencils mauve. Here he is. Oh. Now we've got, I'm starting with the flowers. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm just going to try and fade them a little bit up. Um, no, I don't know why I decided to start with the flowers, but I did um, yesterday's like that as well, so maybe I was just thinking the same. But we want to use some different um, different greens potentially. Just a little heart shape in there. I'll have a think about what to use in a bit. I'm trying to make it a little more intense towards the base of our petal, a little lighter to the tip. But they are, um, it's not easy to do that. So if you can't, don't, just just block it in. It's uh, It may even look better, sometimes it does. Um, I see other people's work where they haven't tried to do any shading or um, blending and actually it can look really quite um, quite stunning in its own way you know there we go I'm also always very um, surprised at which pictures of mine people like the most because I'm lucky I put my pictures up on Instagram or Facebook or my videos up or whatever and I always get likes, which is really lovely. But um, some of them get a lot more likes than others. And it's really quite interesting to see sometimes pictures that I've spent a really long time doing and that I really like don't get as many likes as ones that perhaps I did quite quickly and I wasn't really very keen on. It's just fascinating. It just really proves how we're all so different and an art is so subjective and actually um, we can never tell. So being quite self-critical, as a lot of artists are, is not very useful or healthy because you you may find that people who look at your work totally disagree with you anyway. And although I always feel that art should be for you, unless you're like a professional artist that sells your art, which I don't think you would be watching this video if you were, um, I think just do it for you, do what you like and see what happens. Um, don't try and please everybody, there's no way you can. You know, there are, think about um, pieces of art. You know, I always think about um, the sort of modern art that sells for so much money and I just look at it and I think, I really don't think that it's worth that much money. And people say, oh, well, it was daring. It was the first of its kind. No one had done it. And I was like, I don't know if that makes it worth money. <laughs> For me, it's about the years of hard work put into developing a skill and then producing that in a piece of art. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, as I say, we are all different. We have different opinions. And that's what makes the world interesting, sometimes a bit too interesting, but we won't go there. Um, I'm going to use the middle purple pink to do um, these little heart shapes to start with. I'm going to try to make them a little bit more intense on the outside, a bit lighter in the middle, just by doing less layers of colour as I come towards the centre, but I'm not sure that... Well, I think that's okay. And there's one over here, of course, being a symmetrical design, but it's only symmetrical um, in two, um, in one direction, across horizontal line. 
Oh gosh, it's a long time since I did symmetry in maths. It's just there. Is our line of symmetry, whereas the ones that we've done up there, I suppose you've got a line there as well. But every quadrant was the same up there. I'd, this one isn't because we haven't got the heart on that one. Anyway, I think I know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to do these little teardrop shapes also in pink. I don't know why. I mean, that one I think is a leaf with those. So I'm going to do that to match those. But this one, I'm going to do pink. You might think that's a little odd and you want to do it as a leaf. That's up to you. I just felt that I wanted a little more than just one splash of pink. And of course I could do pink leaves, couldn't I? I'm wondering whether to do this bit pink. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to colour it in pink. I'm just going to block it out in a, in a pink colour. Why not? Just for something different. I mean, you probably think, I initially thought that's a leaf. And of course it very well could be, but as I was saying, we've all got our own take on things, we've got our own ideas, so I think another splash of pink could just be what this needs. I won't know until it's finished, and even then I might not decide. <laughs> Sometimes I can't decide if I like a piece or if I've done it in the correct way, not there isn't a correct way, but I think you know what I mean. So we'll see. I think art teachers think there's a correct way. Not necessarily like art classes, but school art teachers, I feel, um, always have an idea of what they want you to achieve. And it sort of puts pressure on you, really. And it makes it difficult to do, because if you can't do that specific, specific thing, it makes it difficult. I'm going to use the juniper green. I think this will, it will match this, I think. Um, I'm going to just start with the bottoms of these. I also feel like the juniper green is a little bit bluish, so it matches in with purples and pinks. Hmm. But I'm just trying to work out whether all the green needs to be the same colour or whether we've got some different colours. Um... I'm going to just start. I'm going to try and make them a little darker at the stem, but they're quite small little teardrop shapes, so we'll just see what happens. Yeah, my art teacher always seemed to have a very specific goal in mind. There wasn't space for imagination in all in all lessons. Some there was, I guess, if he wants to teach a specific technique then he has to um, make you stick to a particular th thing or way of doing something or else you're not going to learn are you yeah I watched um, we used to have a TV show on I don't know if it's still what was it called it's about painting and they had celebrities and they would do paintings of various different things and they would be have a challenge each week to do something. It might be painting a particular scene or a particular way to add something particular into their picture, perhaps to try and show movement or colours in certain ways, you know, different things like that. And <clears throat> some of the people taking part were very good at trying hard to change their style so that they could um, meet the requirement of that week's class but others um, used to seem to still paint in their own style even though they were trying to be taught something a little bit different and I suppose you know if you're already established you have a style and you like to do things in a certain way then trying to learn to do it a little bit differently is quite quite difficult isn't it but you know, you might do something well and gain from it. I did have a plan this weekend actually to do um, a Chris Cheng video so I could sort of learn a little bit more Prismacolor technique and um, maybe to do some matchstick mouse pictures copying Morgan O'Brien's versions. However, 
um, because this book has now arrived, I may be spending most of my weekend recording and um, editing, which isn't a bad thing at all. This is the Earth Green. I think this works quite nicely together with the Juniper Green and I'm going to use it for the tips of these leaves here because I wanted them to be a little bit lighter. Just because they're bigger they can take um, some extra there's space for more layers of colour and more colours to fit in. And I'm also going to use it for these these outside leaves. Now on my last one I used darker colours to sort of be the frame. But this one is going to be lighter. Oh, my nose wants to run now. don't know why. Yeah, uh, there's nothing wrong. I'm just gonna, sorry. Oh, just get my hanky out. <laughs> Give you a minute to catch up if you're behind. I know some of you say I get, go a bit fast, so I'm sorry about that. But I have to just colour my pace. And uh, I hope that you can pause. You can slow videos down and speed them up on YouTube. I think you can slow them down. I know you can speed them up. I sometimes speed them up. I don't have much time. This is the middle purple pink again. I'm going to do those four in the middle with this. I think it would just help it all to make a bit more sense. Because I was wondering whether these were just leaves, but I think if we colour them pink like these, then that makes sense. Now, just wondering what to do on the inside of these, whether to leave it white. I think it looks to me like it wants to be finished with something. I'm going to go dark, I think. I'm going to use the Delft Blue and just go in there with the dark colour. I just think that might give it some depth and interest. You may not like it, you may prefer to leave a white bit behind. I mean, you could go on and do this um, colour as a background for the whole thing, but I'm not doing little backgrounds, I'm just, just for this piece. I'm not sure, I'm thinking now that maybe it looked better white, but the, one of the reasons I did this is because I've gone out the lines into the white, so it'll make it look a little bit tidier. <laughs> there we go. So I think I think I'm gonna do a bit of white on this one. I did want some on one of the one above, just my jelly roll ten. And I'm just going to do in here. I feel it needs softening. I think that is a little bit dark. Now we have got little dots coming out of our flowers. Um, I'm not going to um, add to those. I think that'll do. Oh, except that I missed that one. Did you shout? Did you tell me? Thank you if you did. <laughs> so there we go. So there is that one again, pretty quick. So that's nice. That's I think that's partly what attracted to me to this page, although most of them will be quite quick because there's lovely little designs that won't take too long. But thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe and comment. Have a really super day and happy colouring.